Today we will be catching trout on various artificial baits in front of my underwater camera. The creeks in Sedona are crystal clear and provides an opportunity to see what the fish are actually doing underwater. So we took advantage of that and got some amazing footage. Stay tuned, watch the whole video. You guys are not gonna wanna miss any of this. I have been walking around this afternoon trying to find a spot full of fish and we finally did. This pool right here behind me is absolutely loaded with rainbow trout, brown trout, and even some Gila trout. We were originally planning to do this with bait. However, we have found ourselves in the catch and release section only of Oak Creek. So we have barbless hooks, single barbless, and we'll be throwing around the trout magnet and the fly rod. So stay tuned. This is gonna be freaking amazing. I cannot wait to get that camera in the water. I'm gonna try a little power bait minnow here. These are not scented, guys. Not scented. Oh my goodness. Right in front of the camera. All right, so I have this little gulp, not gulp, power bait minnow here on a jig head and we're gonna see if they like that. There are like minnows swimming around, so maybe that'll get bit, I have no clue. We're about to find out though. Maybe I try drifting a mouse tail or something. Oh, there's one on the, oh! That was one on the minnow, guys. Oh, I think that minnow's a little big for him. Right in front of the camera, come on. There's one. There's one, guys. I got him to eat the minnow. I got him to eat the minnow. There we go. Landed on that little power bait minnow. Beautiful little rainbow. I'm glad we got that one. We got him to eat that minnow. Get him out of there. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep rocking with it then because it's working. Oh, Dad got destroyed. He's got him. He's got him. <laughs> oh, I got one too. Oh, I had one. Hey. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. What a... Because we're getting bit on the minnow almost every cast now. Dad's getting bit on the magnet. Another one. Another one on the minnow, guys. Oh, he got stuck in your line. Oh, he popped off. Another one on the minnow. <laughs> Hits bottom, I start twitching. And almost every cast they're hitting it now. Oh, pecked. Another one. Another one, guys. <laughs> this is a better one, too. This is a better one. God, he is not giving up. There he goes. Right at the net, he popped. This little power bay minnow. Like I said, guys, unscented. There's no scent on that. He is just demolishing it. Same thing, guys. Literally right by this rock. Twitching. Keeping it right in front of the frame if I can. I hope all the fish are looking cool down there. I hope everybody can see what's going on. My goodness. My goodness, guys. They're just popping off left and right. Oh, I think these fish have been held over for a while, guys. So I think they've got accustomed to eating the minnows out of this creek. It would make sense. Well, I'm going to show you guys what to do when you're getting short bites like that. So we have our full bait. We're basically going to take this off here and we're just going to bite it. It's going to taste like plastic, but it'll be all right. And then just put it back on. And that should help at least a little bit eliminate those fish getting off. And there's a ton of fish in here. Power bait minnows. Oh, that was a bite. That's a fish. That is a fish. My goodness, guys. It's not fair. It is not fair. I'm killing them. Wow, awesome guys.
They love the minnow. Dad's got one on the drop. You still got him? Yeah. <laughs> he swallowed it. I have bigger jig heads if you want. They're eating that thing good. There we go, guys. They are eating that thing. Guys, before we get into day two, if you are enjoying this type of content, please hit the subscribe button down below. My new goal for the end of the year is 20,000 subscribers. You guys have been flying, running up the numbers. I really appreciate it and enjoy day two of the underwater footage. Good morning, everybody. We are a little chilly, but today we are going to be filming these trout underwater. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're heading down to the creek right now. See if we can find some fish. And guys, we don't have the big camera today. I've been having some GoPro malfunctions. All right. This is the GoFish cam. And this, you guys have seen me using a bunch of videos. Hopefully, we can catch them in front of this camera. That is the goal. Okay. We're rolling. The camera's pointed literally straight that way. Guys, so before I actually got in the water, I was throwing around the fly rod, just getting stuck in everything. <laughs> but my dad, he started fishing immediately. And you will see his little pink trout magnet under the float here. And all these fish just flocking to it. Look at all those fish. And pink was working. Look at that. He hooked, I don't know how many, maybe three or four before I even started throwing the magnet. But here it is again. See them all coming up to it. Boom, just smacking it. Smacking it. Crystal clear water. We love to see it. You can see a little wild brown trout down there at the bottom, just not even interested. Those fish are very smart. But it's just amazing to see all these fish just flocking. But don't worry, here we go. We're about to throw the magnet. We're gonna go with the white magnet. Excuse my uh my shivering, it's a little chilly. Okay. There we go. We're gonna twitch this off the bottom. And I'm gonna try and get an eat right in front of the camera. They're not really too into the flyer rod, so. Look at I'm chasing it. Guys, look at this. This is insane. Swarming. Oh, right there. Right in front of the camera. <laughs> There we go, guys. First one hooked up. I think yesterday for the amount I hooked, I think I landed like five, and I probably hooked like 10. Well, first official landed fish of the day on the white magnet. Barbless hook comes right out. Beautiful rainbow. Hopefully you guys saw that eat on camera. Let's get him out of there. Boom, he's good to go. And let's catch another one. Sinking. And then a drop. Oh, they're flashing on it. Oh, there's one right in front of the camera again. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. Look, they're all following. Don't knock over the camera. Don't knock over the camera. I don't want to get back in if I don't have to. Two pound test, guys. We're finessing these guys today. White magnet, pink magnet. This is a nicer fish here. He'd, he'd be going on the stringer if this wasn't catch and release. Oh, he's got a hook in him. And it has a barb on it too. Look at that guys, barbed hook in that fish. Beautiful fish, that's the biggest of the day. He's out of there. I wanna give a shout out to JC Outdoors. He pointed me in the right direction up here. Um, and he actually just filmed a video underwater himself. He kind of beat me to it. I was planning on doing it. And uh, he posted one of him catching these fish on the trout magnet. And uh, we plan on using a bunch of different... Oh, there's another. <laughs> right in front of the camera. We plan on using a bunch of different soft plastics today, guys. Um, but yeah, shout out, to, shout out to him. He didn't have to do that and point me in the right direction, but he did. He's the man. There's another tiny rainbow. 
right there on that rock too. Here, I have another barbel swing. Right this little pink one or that heavier one? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, there's a Gila in there. Oh, they chased it right here. They chased it. Guys, another one right there. Oh my goodness. I was not paying attention. There was a Gila in there. I just saw him. Hopefully the camera got him. Oh, again. Oh, look at him coming for it. Oh my goodness, did you see that? The camera got it for sure. Look at him coming for it. Oh my God, how did I, <laughs> did you see that? Looks like a shark down there. I don't know how many times, like five. Look at him come, uh, yep, I wasn't missing you that time. I wasn't missing, yeah, I got him. He came right up to it, guys. Pink magnet. Oh, I hope the footage is coming out all right. Oh, finally got another one to commit. Look at that. Look at that. Solid fish. And guys, all these fish are stocked rainbows. Um, they just cut off like the section where you can keep them. So all the fish that were stocked before just kind of stayed in this section. That's why they're so full. Regulations changed. Beautiful stocked Oak Creek rainbow trout. Let's get him out of there. He was aggressive, man. He was aggressive. We just took a break and did some catching and keeping. I did not film it, just relaxing. And we are now back in the catch and release section. Let's complete this walk. It's the only thing that sucks about Sedona. Okay guys, let's go set up this camera. I gotta get in the water, unfortunately. All right, guys, here we go. We are back at the same spot from the day before. You guys may recognize it. Here we are using a brown in color trout magnet. I just kind of wanted to switch it up and see how we would do with that. So here it is. And you guys can see the action. This is just a dead drift. I'm literally not moving this at all. It's just drifting below the float. Just that nice, natural little jigging action there. You can see they're kind of interested. I'm sure these fish get fished like all the time. So they're definitely a little spooky. And trout are just a spooky fish in general, so. But the water, the clarity, everything just looks amazing down there. Here's my dad's pink magnet, just getting destroyed over here, all the way on the other side. And they would just not leave that color alone. I should have switched up at that point, but I stuck it out with the brown. So many fish. Here we go, we cast again, just in front of the camera, twitch that up. This video was filmed before we came out with our own soft plastic, the space bugs. So if you guys wanna check those out, I've been slaying the trout on those as well. Here, this take is gonna be very fast. Boom, right there. Slowed down. It comes right into frame and he just eats it. Set the hook, we got this fish. And guys, I must've lost like five or six. Those barbless hooks really do make a difference. <laughs> These little rainbow trout, pretty insane. Here we go, same thing, drifting under the bobber. Look at that action. That action on just a dead drift, just that little amount of current will do that to you. Pretty amazing. Here, this is pretty hard to see this take. It's gonna be right about here. And this was on a fly. You can kind of see my indicator up below, or up above. And this fish ate it. We hook him for a second, uh, but he does pop off, unfortunately. Here's a pretty cool shot of a little baby brown uh, these are wild here, so it's pretty cool to see those fish in their natural habitat. Guys, I really do hope you enjoyed everything. This was very tricky to make. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.